when a fault occurs in a power system the circuit breaker must interrupt the current flow and open the contacts however this action results in a high frequency voltage called a transient recovery voltage which can damage the insulation of the breaker and can cause the arc to restrike in this video we will be discussing the transient recovery voltage in a circuit breaker and its importance while designing the breaker so what we will do is we will divide this video into two parts in part 1 we will understand what trv is and in part 2 we will understand what impact trv can have on circuit breakers in the video in which we discussed the first pole to clear factor of circuit breaker i asked if you want me to make a video on trv and many people said yes so here is the video on trv By the way if you are new here my name is Gaurav J and I post videos related to electrical engineering with the easiest explanation on this channel so if you are interested in learning electrical engineering in the easiest way then click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video all types of circuit interrupting devices can be considered as the link that joins the two electrical networks so one side of the circuit breaker would be the network who is delivering power and the other side of the network is uh, the network who is consuming the power for example here our circuit breaker on the left hand side of the uh, breaker we have a generating station substation and transmission lines so this network can be considered as a source side network who is delivering power and on the right hand side of the breaker let's say there are distribution substation uh, distribution lines and consumers to whom we are delivering the power so we can identify this network as load side network who is consuming the power and this circuit breaker is basically acting as a link that uh, is joining these two networks now let's say there is a fault and the circuit breaker has opened as soon as the breaker opens these two networks will be disconnected from each other since the link between the two network is now broken the trap charges in each network will try to redistribute and as a result each network develops a voltage that appears simultaneously across the respective terminal of the interrupter as you can see on the screen which is labeled as e1 and e2 and the algebraic sum of these two voltages represents the transient recovery voltage which is normally referred as trv this transient recovery voltage is a high frequency voltage that can be several times higher than the normal system voltage here you can see a waveform of a transient recovery voltage the waveform of the transient recovery voltage typically has several oscillation and can last for several microseconds this waveform and the trv depends upon the factors like conditions at which the contacts are separating in the event of a fault type of fault and the characteristics of the network connection and also the switching arrangement used and these factors will impact the trv transient recovery voltage generally lasts for a few microseconds only after that the normal frequency voltage is established this trv is generally more across the first pole who is first to clear the fault which is known as first pole to clear factor to know more on uh, about the first pole to clear factor you can watch uh, this video link is provided in the description By the way if you find my youtube videos helpful then you will also find the courses created by me very useful you can access the courses from courses.theelectricalguy.in there are courses on electrical machines substation circuit breaker uh, a course on circuit breaker control schematic is also coming soon uh, if it is already available i'll provide link for it down in the description definitely check it out the courses will surely help you as we have seen transient recovery voltage appear across the contact of circuit breaker after the fault interruption for a very short duration of time and the value of it is very high compared to the normal system voltage trv can cause reignition and restrike of the arc if the breaker fails to handle it which will keep the fault running and can damage the system let's understand more about it 
When the circuit breaker is interrupting a fault, it results in arcing in the interrupting medium. During the process of interruption, the arcing medium is trying to regain its insulating properties. For the interruption to be successful, the interrupter medium should withstand these fast rising recovery voltage. And therefore, you can say there is a race in the interrupting medium to go from conducting state to insulating state with TRV. If the speed of rise of TRV, which we call it as rate of rise of recovery voltage, that is RRRV, is more than the speed of the insulating medium, in such case, the breaker will fail to clear the fault and the fault current will continue to flow via the arc. This process of establishment of current is called re-ignition and can refer to re-ignition of arc in the circuit breaker. If the speed of the insulating medium at which it gains the dielectric strength is more than the speed at which the rate of rise of recovery voltage is increasing, then the interruption is successful. Reignition generally occurs almost immediately after the current zero and is generally because the arc plasma containing conducting ions re-establishes current. TRV, if it is very high, will result in the arcing medium which has returned to its insulating state to be stressed. If this field created across the contact is very high, a dielectric breakdown may take place, causing the interrupting medium to become conducting and carry the current. This process of establishing current is called restrike. This generally occurs after a half cycle uh, later to the current interruption. And this situation is of course a very dangerous situation. It can damage the circuit breaker completely and also the other equipment in the substation. Therefore, the circuit breaker must be capable of taking this high TRV and clear the fault. Different standards like IEC, ANSI have defined the different situation and TRV values on which the breaker must be tested to prove its capabilities. The circuit breaker which passes all the tests with uh, the conditions defined by the standards are considered as capable of handling the different TRVs that may occur due to different faults. Therefore, consideration of TRV while designing the circuit breaker is of paramount importance. So to summarize, what is a transient recovery voltage? Transient recovery voltage is the voltage that appears across the contacts of the breaker after the current interruption. Now, why this voltage appears? Because when the circuit breaker opens, the link between the two network is broken and the trap charges of both the sides of the network will redistribute and appear across the terminals of the breaker. What is the impact of TRV on breaker? Well, TRV can cause re-ignition and restrike. So I hope you have now understood what is a transient recovery voltage and this video has helped you in understanding that. If it did, then do like the video and do share it with the people you might think would be interested in knowing about transient recovery voltage. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.